Greetings, I'm Parent. And I'm Ridley. And welcome to... Meet Me at the Table. <laughs> That's right. Today we're going to be playing Marvel United. We're, we've decided that we're going to do the, was it, the Days of Future Past scenario? Yes. All right. We're really excited for this. I, if you had a chance to watch my live painting episodes, we were working on these Sentinels. We got them that all looks painted so up. Cool. They do look pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to try these out. And we have two characters we're going to be playing. Ridley is going to be playing the old, was it old Logan or old Wolverine or something? Just, is that his name? It's just normal Wolverine. It's just normal Wolverine. Without the outfit. I see. And then I've got Cable here, who we've painted up in one of our live streams as well. These are our two characters we're going to be playing with, and we also are going to be facing off against the Sentinels. And we're going to be taking on Nimrod as our final boss in Days of Future Past. There's a few rules we're going to quickly go over, and then we're going to start playing. The setup I've already done. If you're interested in seeing a setup video, there's a lot of different videos out there for that. You will notice that the cards are kind of turned a little bit. Normally, all of these face in this direction towards this. But for filming purposes, we want to make sure that you could read all these as we're moving around the board. The only thing we haven't done is put our threat cards. We'll do that in just a second. We're going to place our Sentinels up here because they're up here is the Sentinel Space Station. I don't see why they don't start there, right? Huh? Yeah, I mean, why won't why won't wouldn't they start there? Exactly. And then we've also put out the health for these Sentinels, and we put out the health for Nimrod as well. This plays a why little bit different. Why does he have more health than these guys? Because he's the grandmaster of all Sentinels. And we we do have a few special rules. One is these aren't really going to come into effect. If you notice, there's not the normal objectives of saving civilians and beating up thugs and things like that. All we have to do is take down those two Sentinels. Nimrod will then come on the board, and we'll have to try to take him out. Wait, if Nimrod's the leader of all the Sentinels, then why is he so much shorter than all? them just because he's just that much cooler you don't have to be super big to be super good right fair yeah <laughs> so we're going to get to playing it really quickly we just want to go put out our threat cards here and each there are a few of these we're going to start here in xavier's institute for higher learning we have data analysis c sentinel special rule when villain on, on the villain dashboard when this threat is cleared decrease nimrod's activation track by one we're going to place it right down there and nimrod's activation track is right here if it reaches 15 that's one of the lose conditions the other lose condition is of course if we ever are not able to play a card and another lose condition in this particular scenario is if we're able to take out both the sentinels and nimrod comes on the board and he actually ko's one of our characters you're out normally when you're ko'd you get to come back the next turn and drop to four cards and be continue the adventure but against Nimrod you're instantly KO'd and out for the game you don't get to come back that's sad <laughs> it is kind of sad the other let's hear so the other so the special rules for our Sentinels are going to be all up here and we'll go through those as we're playing the game we have a few more to put down we're just going to go in clockwise order here or is it counterclockwise I'm never really that great at that mutant detection heroes that take damage in this location take one extra damage when this threat card is cleared we're going to re uh, remove or lower Nimrod's uh, track level again and again we're just going to place these kind of out like this i know they're supposed to cover these but for filming purposes is this what we're doing we have another data analysis that's going to go right here and these can be removed normally just like you would in a normal game let's see what's the next one sentinel production c sentinel activation protocol when this threat is cleared decrease nimrod's activation track by one We'll put that one right up there. We have a couple more left to do. And a lot of these are kind of doubled up. We have another Sentinel production. We're going to put it right up here. And I think it's super ironic that the Sentinel production is actually in the <laughs> Sentinel factory. I think that's pretty cool. In the Savage Land, we have Mutant Detection. This is one we're going to take extra damage. I'll place that right down there. And I think we're going to drop our hands and get ready to play. This is our Sentinel activation protocol that you've been hearing about on some of these cards. It says after each hero's turn, the Sentinel matching the hero's Sentinel target activation activates following the Sentinel activation protocol. If a hero has no Sentinel target token, they must activate a Sentinel of their choice, becoming its target for that turn. Look at the symbols in the bottom of the last two hero cards in the storyline. They then have the activated Sentinel perform the actions corresponding to those symbols in any in the order. It symbols in order, see the back of the card. So here's the back of the card. So whenever we go, this is the other thing that's different about this is it's not a villain, us, us, a villain, three of our cards, a villain, three of our cards. We're never gonna see this deck until we take out these two Sentinels. After each one of our turns, these Sentinels are going to activate and depending on what are on our cards, different things are gonna happen. So we'll take a look at these when it comes to their turn. As for us, let's see our four starting cards, or I should say, sorry, our three starting cards. So this is the card that we start with, and then we get to flip over two more cards. And my starting card is actually a really good card. As long as this card is faced up in the storyline, you may ignore one damage during each villain turn. And along with that, Sentinel-2 will also be targeting me, because I don't know why. He just is. 
Cable's going to draw three cards. The first one he has is just a straight move card. Then I've got, what's this? Techno-active manipulation. All right, discard one card from your hand to, to the bottom of your deck to perform a double wild. And this is a wild card, so I could I can get three wilds out of it. That'd be pretty good. Then it got, what is this? Techno-organic physiology punch. And you may draw cards until you have three in your hand, and that's also wild card. Wow, he's got a lot of wild right at the beginning. And of course, I'll be targeted by Sentinel-1. Here are the two Sentinels, and we're talking about Sentinel-1. You can see right down here on the base. And Sentinel-2 has this one down on his base. Now, Ridley, would you like to go first? Sure. What card would you like to play? Oh, first you have to draw a card. Uh, it looks like I got a star and a punch. I'm going to play Logan's awesome card that's also going to give me a move. So I'm going to move my character to the Savage Land. So, uh, we're spo so we have to do all this stuff for the Sentinel activation protocol. And so I did do the move. I didn't do anything else. And then I also did the... Uh, or the uh, special effect card. So we're going to have to do number five and number one. Mm -hmm. And number one says, move one location closer to its target here, hero. If it's already in that lo hero's location, increase the norm r Nimrod activation track by one. And then also, uh, five, if the last hero card in the storyline has a special effect, increase the Nimrod activation activation by one. So me and my dad decided to switch robot guys because I think number one looks way cooler. So which one do you guys think is cooler though? So I'm going to move him one space towards me. He makes a loud thudding noise and he's going to come after me now. And now I'm going to have to move the activation track up to one. This is a good time to at least explain a little bit more about what's going on on this villain board here. Normally you're going to be completing objectives, removing thugs, things like that, and dealing with minions. In this one, like I said, we're just taking down the two sentinels, so a lot of that stuff has been removed. All we have to do, which we can do right from the bat, normally you have to take out a couple of uh, objectives in order to be able to hit or hurt some of the villains in this game. This one is not the case. We have to flat up destroy these sentinels. Uh, the only difference to any of this stuff that's going on that we need to make sure we understand is that when the hero is KO'd, increase the Nimrod activation track by one, plus one for each data analyzer, analyzer threat in play. So right now, nobody's been KO'd, which is, thank, which is absolutely fantastic. And here's our overflow issue. Every time there's an overflow of one or more of these tokens that can't be added, Nimrod's activation will go up by one. And remember, if this thing's 8 to 15, that's bad news city. Now, we're not going to be dealing with any of this until after we take out the two Sentinels. So now we're going to move over to Cable. Cable's able to draw a card. He got Techno Organic Physiology Punch. You may draw until you have three cards in your hand. You got the same card. Oh my gosh, this guy's got so many wild cards, it's ridiculous. I'm going to play this card. It says Techno Active Manipulation. Discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck to perform a double wild. So I'm going to get three wilds out of this. Plus, I'm going to get Logan's move that he's given me as well. I'm going to discard this, since I've got two of them, to the bottom of my deck. I don't need two of those. And we're going to use the move from Logan to there. Then with my three wilds, I'm going to move one up here. And then should I hit that guy a couple times? Yeah. All right. I'm going to punch him twice, which is going to, which number is that? That's number one. We're going to take out two wounds from that. The guy only has one, two, three left. That's fan. I think that was fantastic. Now we have to deal with what is going to happen to me because I'm standing in a bad spot. If we look at our last two cards, the last two cards are a move and a recovery health. It's a wild. So this is my sentinel coming after me. It's going to move to right here. And then because it's there and I'm stuck in the middle of right here, that's fantastic. Best place to be in between two sentinels. You're going to get destroyed. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> he's going to, but instead he's going to recover one health. He can't do that. So we're going to advance this by one. And then if we notice the last card in the deck is still a special effect. I got a cable all about special effects. Probably not the best one to play against sentinels. I again, I'm going to move the Nimrod activation track up one. If you notice, there's white, yellow, and red on this track. As this track becomes more yellow and red, Nimrod will be doing more damage to us at, once he comes out, or if he comes out, if these things don't kill us first. All right, Ridley, it's going to be your turn now. Okay, so let's draw my card. And, oh, wow, such a good card, but the only problem is he's going to heal two if I use it. So we are going to be using this card with the star and the punch. So I'm going to play that card and it is going to, get, I'm going to use that wild to move and then star punch. So I'm going to move over here and then we're going to put a star there and then we're also going to punch him for one. So I'm going to take his damage off and he has two health left. 
Actually, we decided to remove the star, and I'm going to save the civilian instead. Sadly, with the cards that we just played, he's going to punch you once. No! <laughs> so you're going to have to discard a card to the bottom of your deck. Then we're going to add a civilian back to the location, which we already took off. And then, because we have two Sentinel production threat cards in play, he's going to recover one for each one of those. So he's back up to four health. We almost really didn't do anything yet, and <laughs> we're just sitting here punching these guys. We'll draw my next card and see what it is. Oh, I got a punch. I really wish it was more than one because these guys just keep on healing. But I am going to play this punch. I'm, we just really can't afford to play any wilds right now. We'll play it right down here. So now I get two punches. So we're going to take off that two damage again to Sentinel number one. We're slowly trying to take this one out. And I get to, I guess, save a civilian again if I want to. Or I could maybe start working on this, which is one of those Sentinel production cards. Now we're just going to get rid of the civilian. I'm going to, we're, we're, we're going to forego a lot of these threat cards out here. I don't know if that's going to be a bad idea. It probably is. And we're just going to try to save civilians and knock these guys down as fast as we can. With those done, I'm going to get hit for two damage. And I'm then going to have to put a civilian back out here. All right, there we go. Sadly, the two damage is going to put these both back on the bottom of the deck. I got no cards, so Cable is KO'd. With me going down, I am going to move up this track. And this track is going to be moved up equal to the amount of data analysis analyzers. I can't even say it. This card right here, data analyzers. It gets to add one to each track. So we're going to go up to two. We're already at five, and we haven't even taken out a Sentinel yet. Okay. Oh my goodness, this one's really good because I can heal myself and I can hit him. I'm going to draw my card to see what it is. Oh, er, it uh, looks like we got a move and a punch. Okay, so with three punches, I'm going to do two punches to this guy, which means number one goes bye-bye. And then I'm going to do one more damage to this uh, sentinel. I'm, oh, whoopsies. I'm, my bad. Um... So yeah, now that Sentinel only has one damage done to him. And now he's going to activate and hit me twice. Ridley, you have this card out here, but I think there's an issue with this card that isn't helping us too much. It says, as long as this card is face up in the storyline, you may ignore one damage during each villain turn. Well, sadly, we're not having villain turns yet. So you are going to have to take two damage. Which two of these are going to put on the bottom of your deck? I am going to put this one and this one. Returning to life, I get to gain four cards here during my step here. We've got a double punch of another one of those super reactor manipulation type dealies, and also uh, it looks like a psychic mastery. Each hero draws one card, then they discard one card from their hand to the bottom of their deck. Well, that's interesting. All right, we'll have to figure out what we want to play here. Before I play any cards, we do have to move this up one because the last card in the thing was a special card, the last one in the ring there. I'm going to play a double punch. Let's see if I can take this guy down as fast as you did, Ridley. I'm going to I'm going to get Rock'em Sock'em Roboted here. I'm going to put that down there, and I'm going to do three damage to that Sentinel, leaving him with only one. But again, he's going to hit me for three damage. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bye-bye. <laughs> and I get knocked out yet again, and we're going to move this up two more. But that's okay. We... <laughs> That was so sad. <laughs> it was pretty sad. I stood up, punched a few times, and went back down. Okay, let's hope this is a good card. And we did, in fact, get a wild, so that means we will be able to defeat the Sentinel. Okay, well, I just realized I forgot I get these two punches, so I am actually going to lay this down to move. But this guy is going to go bye-bye, and then I am going to move over to the Sentinel's layer over there. Now that both the Sentinels are destroyed, we're moving into the third part of this. Nimrod now is going to hit the board, and he's going to come out right where the last Sentinel was uh, slain. And on top of that, he is now going to draw his first enemy card. And on top of that, he will always be under pressure, so we're only able to play two cards, and then it's going to be his turn. But the good news is we'll be having villain turns now, so your card up there will be able to kick in, hopefully. He is going to, what's this? Move clockwise to the location with the hero with the most cards in hand. Dad, it looks like he's going to ban you. No, I don't have any cards in my hand, Ridley. He's going to go on the board until bonk. He's what? Here. How is he going to ban me? He <laughs> just got all the way. <laughs> you have the most cards. This is going to be a sad, sad time here, Ridley, because we're going to put out a lot of these guys. But this bam effect says that he's going to do one damage. And he's going to do one extra damage for each yellow card or when he gets to the yellow cards you're actually going to take two damage Ridley, how many cards you got left no i only have one. <laughs> oh no that means you can i got out. bammed <laughs> 
And sadly, in this scenario, once you are bammed, I guess you could say, right, Ridley? Yeah. You're actually out of the game. So I'm going to be removing this token, and it's just going to be cable against him. We also have to populate where we're supposed to put these civilians. There's supposed to be one there, two over here, and then I'm also supposed to put two over here as well. I think this is a hopeless cause here. Maybe just running right to Sentinels wasn't the greatest strategy. Good news, we're gonna put this into the line. And sadly, even with Ridley's Logan card here, he was not able to withstand all the damage that he just got from that guy. Um, and I think when he gets knocked out, does he always hear, I think he is still going to move this track up even after he hurt one of our heroes. So here are the special rules that have to do with Nimrod himself. Like I said, he's always under pressure. And at the end of a turn in which Nimrod is reduced to four or less health, he'll immediately move to the opposite side. And when a hero is KO'd, Nimrod does not activate his BAM. Normally when a character is KO'd, he gets to BAM again. Nope, and they're eliminated from the game like we've said. It's so, so sad. And each hero Nimrod location takes one damage plus one extra if they're in the yellow track or two if in the red. In the villainous plot, the hero is loses if they are all eliminated. Cable's going to draw four cards, and let's see what he gets. So, <laughs> surprise, surprise, a lot of wilds. He's probably going to play a couple wilds here because he's got to do something. I'm going to stand him up. We're going to play our double wild, which is also going to give us one of wild from Logan's card. I'm going to use one wild to move and two to punch. Why not? We're all about punching here. We'll take two off of Nimrod. Normally it would be the other player's turn, but there isn't another player, so I got a move card this time. And I don't really want to move, I just want to keep punching him. So we're going to grab another wild and punch him. We're going to do three more damage to Nimrod, bringing him down to one, two, three, four, five. So he did about half his health, that's not bad. Sadly, it's going to be his turn, let's see what he is going to do to me. He's going to move three, analyze and counter. Nimrod recovers one health for each hero still in play. Can't go above his starting value. So he is going to heal one, and then he's going to move three. Nimrod is going to move one, two, three, all the way down to the Xavier Institute for Higher Learning. That's awesome. Somehow we have to try to get there. I'm going to draw my next card. I was able to get another, what a surprise, surprise, another wild. But in this case, we're going to use a move card. I've got to get over to him. So I'm going to place that down in our storyline here. Oh, I've got to move this a little bit because i got to place this one in the storyline as well. And I'm going to move one with my move card, and then I've got a wild, so I'm going to move that as well. And that's it. I'm going to draw another card. Let's see how this goes. I don't think I'm ever going to get this guy. Heroes each draw one card, then they discard one from the bottom of the deck. I don't think that's going to happen. I do get the ability to punch if I want to, and I think I might. I'm going to move and then do a punch and a wild here. You may draw until you have three cards. I already have more than three cards, so I'm just going to use that as a punch. So we're going to use the move that I have from this card right here, and then we're going to use a punch and a wild to take down two more health off of Nimrod, which is a bad idea because his ability is going to kick in here. At the end of the turn in which Nimrod was reduced to four or less health, he immediately moves the opposite side of the board. So he's going to move all the way over there and then we're going to resolve one of his villain threats he's not going to move adapt and exterminate increase Nimrod's activation by two then bam lucky for us we're not over there hoofta that had been really really bad it, it does go up to 10 now we're going to draw another card and again I'm running close to the end of my cards here I only have five and somehow I've got to hit him with all these cards I don't know how it's going to happen but I guess we'll use this I'm going to discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck to perform a double wild so I'm just going to put this on the bottom of the deck I have no need for that card though that means I'm if the last card of my deck is worthless but that's okay I'm going to see what we can do with this that's going to give me three wilds, so I'm going to use one, two, three to move up here, and then we're going to hit him again for one, which is going to bring his life total down to three. If we see here, it says at the end of the turn in which Nimrod is reduced to four or less health, it immediately moves to the other location while I just did another damage to him, so he's going to move the other side of the board. And sadly, that's probably going to end the playthrough because the only cards I have is a wild card here that can punch. And then I've got just a couple cards. One's going to be like, they're only just like happy cards with stars on them. And they don't do any damage to this guy. So there's no way I can do any damage to this guy. And I can't get over there to hit him. So that's really about it. These these cards aren't going to be good to fight off Nimrod. So sadly, we we were, we were we lost. We lost this. There's no way to beat Nimrod. He was able to not only take out Logan, but he took out Cable as well. And now the world is oppressed by the Sentinels. The Sentinels have taken over. And there you have it. That is our playthrough of Marvel United Days of Future Past. Ridley, what'd you think? I thought it was really fun. I'm kind of sad I got bammed, but that's all right. <laughs> you did get bammed. But you know what? We had a fun time. We went against the Sentinels and Nimrod, and it was an absolute blast.
I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you know when more content comes out. Also, please feel free to leave anything in the comments below. I would love to hear from everyone. Have you had a chance to play Marvel United? Do you really dig the Sentinels? I think they're pretty awesome. I really think these figures are amazing. What do you think, no. Ridley? <laughs> Was he flying away? If you're interested in supporting the channel, I have a link to my Patreon in the description below as the Sentinels slowly fly away. Please feel free to support the channel if you're very, if you're interested. Those that have given their support are here on the screen right now. Thank you so much for everything you've done to make this channel what it is. If you're interested in supporting it, you're allowed to help me decide what we do and what we paint. The, this uh, this figure especially was voted on by my Patreons as to who I was going to play for this actual playthrough. Though Ridley did pick out Logan because he was super excited to play him. Again, thank you so much for watching, and if you're excited to see what comes next, then I need you to meet me at the table.